How will it be a Fiero baby blues versus postpartum depression? One you can pretty much expect, the other you should not cope with alone. Dr. Thompson is in with an important message for every new mom and mom-to-be. Good morning, Arizona. Having a baby is an exciting time for some mothers, but it can also be very hard. A lot of women suffer from baby blues and even more seriously, postpartum depression. And uh, there are some reports that Beyonce has been suffering from the baby blues, even Queen B. That means it can touch anybody. So uh, we'll talk about the differences between um, what to talk to your doctor about when it gets serious. Dr. Thompson joining us with the signs to look out for. Good morning, Arizona. Time is 8.40, and we are hearing a little Beyonce this morning. It happens to be Beyonce's birthday, by the way, so uh, happy birthday to uh, the pop royalty Beyonce. Uh, some reports say that Beyonce has the baby blues. This according to several Hollywood magazines, Queen Bee has a case of post-pregnancy blues after the birth of her twins, feeling overwhelmed, but who wouldn't with three young children at home? You know, a majority of new moms will experience in some sort of form of the blues, a smaller number will experience true postpartum depression. So here to talk about identifying the differences and really how to handle it is Dr. Sharon Thompson of Central Phoenix Obstetrics and Gynecology. Good morning. good morning. So good to see you. I imagine that this is something that really comes up with your patients and you Absolutely. probably want to start having a conversation about even before baby is born. Definitely. There's some things that you want to think about before baby comes because some moms have risk factors okay. that can help you identify that they may run into trouble. Definitely if you've had postpartum depression before, mm -hmm. if you have a history of mood disorders, if you have any trouble during the pregnancy. So some moms have some medical diagnoses that make it particularly challenging. So oh. those moms you want to have sort of in the back of your head that this may be a problem for them and start talking about what are things we can do um, that, and, and what to look for. Okay. Because I think a lot of moms neglect themselves after they have a baby. This is pretty common. Right. They focus on baby and family and they ignore their own symptoms. So if you're feeling overwhelmed in the first week, you're tearful, this is normal. normal. You just got uh -huh. baby, your world got turned upside yeah. down. But if symptoms are going on beyond a week, okay. if you're not feeling like getting out of bed, if you're losing interest in your other children, mm -hmm. if you know the baby seems very remote and foreign to you, you don't feel like you're really bonding, then you might want to reach out for help. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, you're sleep deprived. Mm -hmm. uh, you've gone through a, a tremendous physical hormonal shift. Absolutely. Um, Stress, maybe, especially if mm -hmm. it's the first time. Say, uh, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't know what you're in for until you're in it, yeah. and you're in the thick of it. And how do you know when to ask for help when maybe for those who are around a new mom, how should they know when to step in yeah. without being offensive, but, but you've got to put your health and well-being first. Yeah. I, I would say anyone who's around a mom is in a caretaking role okay. for her because mom's primary job is the baby, yes. but everyone else wants to be looking at mom. So you can bring it to her attention. Hey, I noticed that you normally like to do X, but you haven't been doing that. Hey, I noticed that you normally are a morning person, but you've been in bed till 11 every day. So you can say it in a caring way, yeah. in a way that's caring for her, and just make sure that she asks the question because every mom has a follow-up visit after the baby. Okay. So you just say, make sure you ask about this. Have those make questions. Make sure your doctor, yeah. doctor lets you know if this is normal. And we were just uh, talking about some of the symptoms of postpartum depression. We just mm -hmm. had them up on, on the screen. I mean, this is beyond feeling yes, overly sensitive or yes. exhausted. This can really be even even as extreme as feeling uh, aggression yes, towards your baby absolutely. or yourself. And I would say that the sign to look out for is if you have the thought, hey, is this normal? Good enough. Okay. Ask your doctor, Ask about, your doctor that. about that. Some moms can get thoughts of harming themselves or baby, um, and, and they typically are watching themselves have that thought uh -huh. and thinking, I shouldn't be thinking yeah. this. That's when you want to seek help. Okay. Anything that raises your flag to say, should I be feeling this way, is good enough to go to your doctor about. And especially a sense of detachment from the baby as well, because absolutely. that is just, that's not typical. Absolutely. Yeah, feeling overwhelmed, absolutely that's is true. <laughs> feeling frustrating, wanting to cry all the time. Yeah. Yeah. These are normal things. But anything that makes you feel like, hey, is this normal? That alone is enough to seek help. Okay, and, and there mm -hmm. is absolutely no shame in having those conversations. Absolutely not. I mean, there's chemical things going on in your body that may need to be addressed with Just some medication. Just as the baby grows without your intention, <laughs> your mood can change without okay. your intention. This is not about what you want or don't want. It's a physical change in your body. All right, Dr. Thompson, thank you so much. Uh, good to see you. I'm sure that the moms who uh, have treatment through you uh, get, get a lot of support um, oh, through the process starts to finish. <laughs> A little hug from the doctor. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me.